What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Leo Pazzo Productions. Thank you very much for tuning in. In today's video, we're going to be having a closer look at my Zcam E2 M4 camera rig. This is a box shaped cinema camera and this cage that starts off this whole rig is made by Nitsi. Nitsi cage here for the Zcam fits four of the Zcam cameras, which is the Zcam E2 M4, which I'm currently using right now, the Zcam S6, the Zcam F6, and also the Zcam F8. So let's get started because I want to share with you guys a bunch of cool features about this Nitsi cage, which just helps me assemble my camera rig so much easier. So starting off all of the mounting options, mounting points that are built in directly into this Nitsi cage, starting with the quarter by 23 threads which are just distributed all over the cage along with the 3 8 threads mounting option that we have throughout the cage as well and how can I not mention the airy locking pins that come included built into the cage so we have several different mounting options and how can I not mention the built-in NATO rail along the side of the cage as well this Nitsi cage is made out of aluminum alloy and it just feels and looks like it's very well designed and built it has a nice black coating paint on it as well to just kind of protect it from the elements and I will mention this cage is also very lightweight as it only weighs approximately 290 grams this cage also features built-in NATO rails along the left hand side and the right hand side of the cage which just makes it very easy to mount a side handle to this cage for easy stabilization of your camera rig this Nitsi cage also includes an HDMI clamp which is just going to help us secure our HDMI cable to the HDMI my input on the back of the camera which is just also a nice feature because we don't want to be having any of our cables fall out or come loose while we are filming the cage also does include a USB-C clamp as well because I'm actually using an SSD for a memory card to record all my footage onto so therefore I have the USB-C cable plugged into the back of the camera which is securely mounted with the Nitsi USB-C clamp which is included so as far as the quarter inch 20 threads that are just distributed throughout this cage I will mention at the bottom of the cage there are several quarter 20 along with 3 8 threads at the bottom of the cage which just allowing me to mount my Manfrotto base plate with two screws so it's nice and solid and secure and we're not going to have any kind of wiggle between my camera and the base plate so when I have it mounted to the tripod it is just nice and solid and secure I will also mention at the bottom of this Nitsi cage on the inside where our camera gets mounted into the cage there are two rubber grips which is going to protect our camera from being scratched and also just allows the camera to grip the cage along with the two screws that are mounting it so we have two screws to mount this cage to our camera via the one quarter inch 20 at the bottom of the camera and the cage and also the one quarter inch 20 at the top of the camera and the cage so when the camera is installed correctly into the cage there is no wiggle room it is nice and solid into the camera cage and it just feels now that is well protected and stable so I will also mention the Nitsi cage also includes two Ari rosette mounts this is the L Ari rosette mount and we also have the horizontal Ari rosette mount which I currently have mounted here onto the camera cage onto the right hand side these are a fantastic little feature addition to the cage because it allows us to mount for an example like a side handle that requires Ari rosette mounting and it's just a nice solid firm mounting option it's nice to see in the kit that they've included this little tool right here which allows us to tighten up any of the screws it does does have the little allen key little head here at the bottom and we do have this little plastic handle over here which just allows us to get a nice firm grip when we need to tighten up any of the screws that assemble the camera rig so let's briefly talk about some of the equipment and accessories that I've used to assemble this camera rig starting off at the top of the cage I do have mounted the Nitsi stinger top handle which is mounted to the cage via the re locking threads and pins which just fit perfectly in sync because the bottom of the handle has the re locking threads and pins and the top of the cage also has that mounting option so right on top of the top handle I do have my monitor mounted which is also mounted via a NATO lock which just allows me to easily remove my monitor or install my monitor nice fast and easy with a nice little locking design because that Nitsi stinger top handle does have a built-in NATO rail as well so at the bottom of the cage I do have 
have my dual 15 millimeter rod support which is mounted to the cage via the two screws we got the quarter 20 screw and i also have the 3 8 screw so that 15 millimeter rod support is nice and solid and secure to the bottom of the cage underneath that 15 millimeter rod support i do have my manfrotto base plate which is mounted again via two screws to the bottom of my 15 millimeter rod support so at the back of the cage i do have installed a v-mount battery plate which is mounted to the rig via the dual 15 millimeter rods so at the plate itself again it has a bunch of different output options which allows me to power a bunch of different accessories and equipment and therefore i can just simply slide in my v-mount battery and power my camera my monitor and any other accessories so at the right hand side of the cage i do have mounted a wood side handle the wood side handle mounts to the cage via the quarter inch threads at the top of the wood side handle i do have a cold shoot mount which allows me to mount my microphone this microphone is a shotgun microphone which is being powered via one AA battery and it's plugged in via XLR from the back of the microphone and plugged in to 3.5 millimeter directly to the camera on the left hand side of the rig I do have an SSD holder which holds my Samson T5 SSD this is a one terabyte SSD and the cable clamp which is included with this Nitsi cage is holding that USB-C cable to the back of my camera so it doesn't come loose while I'm filming. At the front of the rig mounted to the 15 millimeter dual rod support I do have the Nitsi follow focus system. This follow focus system by Nitsi is the dual rod support which also includes A and B hard stops. I just recently published a detailed video in regards to the Nitsi follow focus system with hard stops so feel free to take a look down in the description or I'll leave a link up here so you guys can just simply click on it and take a look at that video but overall I've been very impressed and mounts to the rig very nice and simple simple and strong there's no wiggle movement and everything that you need to get started to use this manual follow focus is included with the kit <laughs> Well guys, it looks like we reached that time of the video to give you guys my overall thoughts and opinion of the Nitsi cage. If you cannot tell already, I'm very pleased and impressed with the build quality and the design. We have a bunch of different mounting options, the built-in NATO rails, the quarter 20s, the 3 8 the RE locking. We got the HDMI clamp, the USB-C clamp. We got those rubber pads on the inside of the cage to protect the bottom of the camera. We have the little Allen key tool and the RE locking mounts, for an example, the horizontal one and the L shaped one so overall it does have everything that we need to get started mounted to our camera and go ahead and start building a rig like i've built today in this one so i appreciate you guys watching if you guys have any comments questions concerns let me know down in the comment section down below and i'm looking forward to seeing you guys on the next one <music>